Hello everyone. So today's video is me drawing um, on graph paper. I actually have a quarter inch graph paper taped underneath this regular piece of drawing paper so that I can see the graph lines through the paper. Um, and so every pattern that I'm using requires a graph and all of these patterns are actually of my original design and are um, going to be in a future book. Not the one that's coming out in October. Uh, this is actually for another book that I am working on currently. I can't give any details about that other than just saying that I'm making a book, um, but all of these patterns are going to be in it. Uh, overall, it took about an hour to do, so it didn't take too long to complete. It is kind of hard to see the graph paper through the regular paper, so it probably took a little bit longer than it normally would because I had issues kind of seeing where the lines were supposed to go for the patterns. Uh, anything new going on with me? Well, Allison is back in school. She started on Monday. It's both good and bad for me. It's good because I can get a lot of drawing done uh, while she's in school. I uh, don't feel obligated to spend time with her because she's not here. And so I can spend a lot of time at my desk drawing and working on books and working on YouTube videos and um, stuff like that. But uh, the bad thing about her going back to school is that I miss her. And I know a lot of parents who look forward to the end of summer because they're just about done uh, having the kids home all day. Uh, and I completely understand that, uh, especially with those with multiple kids. I think I would go crazy if I had more than just Allison. Uh, but Allie and I are, I don't know, it's kind of weird to say, like, I, I hate to say it, but she, we're kind of like best friends. But it's not in a weird way where, like, I don't know, some people say that and yet they mean it in a way that where they don't have any authority over the kids, but I definitely still put the mom foot down, you know what I mean? But we just get along well. We're very much alike, and so it makes for a fun atmosphere in our home, which you have kind of seen little snippets of it by our audio when we talk together. <clears throat> We're just like friends, really. But um, when she was younger, I was actually quite strict with her, and I was strict with her so that as she got older, uh, I didn't have to be so strict with her. And it's worked out quite well. Now, if I had multiple kids, do I think I could accomplish that? Probably not. Um, I know I have a friend of mine who has six kids, and I see the struggles that she has, um, you know. First of all, you have kids coming up to you all the time blaming somebody else for something. That I noticed right away, and that would just drive me insane. So, to all those parents out there, especially those who have multiple children, I give you great credit uh, for being good parents, because I don't know that I could do it. Anyways, enough about that. She's back in school and she is in 8th grade this year, so it is her last year in junior high. Next year she'll, she'll be going to high school and we are actually going to move before she goes into high school. Um, there's another high school that I really want her to go to uh, because she can take college classes in high school and uh, I know that she will qualify for that because her grades are excellent. So I want to be in that school district, so that means moving next year. And from what I understand, my brother is actually going to be moving here next year as well. And uh, we're going to share an apartment for a little while. Um, I think, anyways, that's the plan. He is a nurse, and so he'll come here and uh, move in with me and uh, find a job and eventually move out on his own. But um, he's actually older than me. He's, what, I think he's five or six years older than me. But... Um, I give him great credit because he went back to school and is now a nurse. So he is living in New York right now uh, where I used to live actually and uh, 
uh, he is ready to get away from the snow, which I don't blame him. I am one of those people who couldn't stand snow. So uh, I can completely understand why he would want to get out of New York. But when he was in the Air Force, he actually went uh, and lived in Alaska for a while, and he really liked it. But um, I guess enough is enough at this point, because from Alaska, he went to New Hampshire, and from New Hampshire, he went to New York. So I think he's kind of done with snow, and I don't blame him. Good news is that uh, the weather in Tennessee is gorgeous. There has uh, been a decrease in the humidity lately, so it's nice to sit outside and drink my morning coffee and read or do whatever I want to do uh, for about an hour in the morning before I get started on anything that's on my to-do list for the day. It's just a nice way to start the morning and over the summer I really wasn't able to do that very much because it was just so hot even in the morning you'd sit out there for like 10 minutes and you'd be dying of sweat and heat and everything else even if the temperature wasn't that hot the humidity was crazy so I am excited about this time of year every time it's just about August middle of August beginning of September it just starts getting uh, really, really nice out. My ideal temperatures and my ideal everything. So, and it lasts that way pretty much through, pretty much until uh, about December or so. And then it gets a little bit too cold to stay outside and start my morning that way. But um, yeah. Anyways, that's about it for my drawing. I'm going to do my little close up scan here and let you check everything else up real close and uh, see my designs and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought and I'll see you again soon for another drawing video